Hey guys, Ray with SD Custom Footwear, and today I want to show you guys what kind of glue I'm using or cement when I bond my pieces together. Right? This is a barge, all-purpose, tooling-free. It's meant for soles, for everything. I actually just use this for the for bonding my pieces together before stitching. All right? There's a couple different ways to do this. Since I travel, I'm not here using my glue pot every day. It dries up. So I use these disposable uh, square bottles I get on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. I think they're like, I don't know what they're called, condiment bottles, but just look for these. Uh, I think they're four ounces, four ounce squirt bottles. And you just fill them up about halfway, depending on how much you're gonna use it. But if you're not using it every day, the glue pot is gonna dry up and it's gonna annoy you. So, but today I wanted to try something different. Normally what I do is I'll put, get some of this glue, this cement, sorry, apply it on the edge and just get these disposable brushes and brush it on the edge but my buddy Dean shout out diamond leather he had this idea and I just wanted to try it I got this felt refillable marker right it has a felt tip so it's gonna clog so I got I made a little hole here by heating up a nail and just driving it through there it kind of melted all the felt around it so I don't know if you guys can see this And uh, we're gonna try that out. It, it closes pretty good. I mean, it's it's pretty airtight, so hopefully it won't dry up. But I don't know yet. This is what it looks like. I took out all the internal part. I bought these markers. These are refillable acrylic empty uh, markers. What are they called? Montana. I think the brand name is Montana. I took out the the um, the spring loaded uh, valve there. And. You can see I, this one I kind of messed up, but I just made a hole through there. And we're gonna see if this works. All right, never tried this before. We're gonna see if it works. If it does, these are gonna be lightsabers. All right, so let's see. Let's squeeze a little bit out. Oh, don't tell me it already dry. Can you see that? So it is working, but I'm having to squeeze a little kind of hard, so. Maybe I should make the hole bigger. So it is working, but I don't like the fact that I'm having to squeeze kind of hard. That's gonna get annoying and tiresome. But on the plus side, it'll help your gorilla grip, your muscles and your working out your muscles in your hand. All right, so there it is. Pretty good, pretty easy. I'll cover it up and see how it dries. And I'll give you guys an update when I use this tomorrow. If not, I'll go back to my squirt bottle and paintbrush. We're gonna let this dry for 10 minutes. As the instructions say, let it dry for 10 minutes and then we bond them together.